If you're watching this, that means you're probably human. Hopefully. You're small, and you're part of the human race. The average height of your species is about 170 centimeters, or 5 foot 7. And you live for about 80 years. You may be one person, but your race as a collective is 7.8 billion strong. You all collectively cry, laugh, fight, and thrive together on a small planet floating through space. This much you probably already know. But I'm going to show you something that many of your 7.8 billion brothers and sisters may never see. I'm going to visualize the size of our universe, to scale, all in one shot. We start off at the place all of you humans live. After going further out, you could see your moon and truly how far away it is from you as you look at it from the night sky. Next we see the sun, the thing keeping you all and everything else alive on your blue marble of a planet. The sun made up of only your planet Earth could fit one million Earths inside of its radius. That's how big it is. Next, we travel out to the view of your solar system. To fly out this far, it would take thousands of years if traveling via passenger jet. After that, we start speeding up the light years. Here we see the stars that you look up at the night and see start to move. It is literally impossible to travel this fast without breaking your understanding of space-time. Past this point, the size of you as a human is insurmountably so small that in the galactic theater, you are but a fraction of a speck of dust on the stage. This isn't the smallest you get, however. All of the stars, including your own, reside in the Milky Way galaxy. Your own star makes up one of close to a billion other stars inside of that galaxy. If you, a human, tried to count each and every star there, and you were to count one star for every second without food, water, and sleep, it would take you 31 years to count every star in the galaxy. On Earth in 2003, humans used the most powerful telescope to try to peer out of their galaxy into the black abyss. Only after months of looking at one spot in the sky that was one-tenth the size of their moon from the planet, they discovered this. Beyond the reaches of their galaxy in that tiny, tiny part of the sky, they saw millions of galaxies, and later found out there was billions upon billions of galaxies surrounding them. If a human tried to count every galaxy by hand, it just simply wouldn't be possible. Not for them in their lifetimes, or their children's lifetimes, or the lifetimes of their children's children's. In fact, it would take 78 generations of humans counting every moment of their lives from the second they were born to the moment they died to count every possible galaxy estimated to exist in the observable universe. And that doesn't even count all the stars in every one of those galaxies. You, as a small human, live in a small home that is in a town, that is in a country, spinning around a small blue speck that circles a small speck of light that flies with about a billion other stars that make up one of billions upon billions of galaxies are insignificant. And with a lifespan of 80 years, your life here is just as small to the universe as you are physically. So enjoy your time being who you are and be proud that you as a human, can understand that though your life may be short, you are blessed to even understand the concept of being alive and how small you really are.